Today we're checking our trail cameras because we're just getting ready for our deer season. We put out some deer feed with molasses, like some sweet feed with molasses mixed into the corn and grain as well to attract the deer to the property a little bit. Um, the one area that we put our trail cam is when we put it in last year. So I went out and grabbed it in the middle of a rainstorm yesterday and wasn't able to get to the second one before we had to go back. So today we're prepared. We're going to go back and get the second camera checked and we'll watch those together. We also got like a crazy amount of rain over the last couple of days. so. It is super duper muddy, so I got my super handy little boots on and I love them. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It was kind of funny because when we scraped down with the bobcat down here, that whole like rectangle there was like a little pond. It was hilarious because there's nothing underneath it. It's just bedrock. So the water has nowhere to go. So it just ends up pooling, which is great for it. Hello, trees. Trees have been loving all the water that we've been getting, which is great. So hopefully in a couple of years, we will get fruit off of them. They're still super duper young. As you can tell, they're really small. So got a little bit longer to go for those guys, but we will have when we're ready for them. This one will be a Granny Smith apple. That one there will be a Macintosh. That there is a plum. And my pear tree actually isn't doing so well. It's a multi cross. I think it got a fungus. I treated it, but it doesn't seem to be taking so well. So a couple of the, the grafts are doing really well. And then these ones here, like they're not doing so good. So if anybody has any experience with fungus on these guys, it's just kind of slowly dying. So it was like, first it was this guy and this guy that, took, that uh, didn't do so well. And now it's these ones down here. So I'm hoping that's as far as it goes, but if not, we'll be replacing him in the spring as well as adding another one because he needs a pollinator. The palm, plum tree needs a pollinator and the two apple trees need pollinators and I want peach trees. So the orchard will be expanding quite a bit. I also apologize if you can't hear me so well. It's actually quite windy today. It's pretty warm, but because it uh, rained so much yesterday, I got my handy dandy vest on. So we'll see. Oh, not in frame at all. So we'll, so we'll see. <laughs> What, uh, what we run into while we're out here. Let's go check it out. So this is the spot where we are bringing the deer into last year. And right up here on the right hand side is where uh, we put our trail cam, just kind of see where they are. We tend to get more activity in the larger field. We get to see more. So we like to put the camera out there just so we get to see a little bit more variety. We get the foxes and the um, uh, turkeys, like a ton of turkeys and birds of prey and stuff like that. And you can see, that there is no, like they basically flattened it where the feed was out here. Uh, so our camera is right over here on this tree. Bam, right there. So that's the first camera. We got that one in the storm yesterday. So we're gonna keep heading out this direction into the trees and make ourselves a little nicer path back to our other camera. Cause those of you guys that have been following along for a long time know that we have buckthorn and everything on this property, which hurts. And I only have my scrubs on today, so that's not going to be enough to be able to keep it back. So I have my clippers with me and we're gonna go out and make ourselves a nicer path to be able to walk to get this camera. It's a, there's actually a, like a path that we could use, but it's super mosquito-y over there cause it gets really, really wet, especially after the rainstorm like this. It's just really dense and muggy kind of, so I didn't want to go through there. And it's kind of a shared path. It's our property line with our neighbor. So I'd like to have kind of our own path going through our property to get to our stuff. And it's more fun to go to cut through the woods. So we've come back to the back part of the property. So put this stuff down. But right there is the other camera. So you know where we are. And we're gonna keep going into here and uh, make ourselves, we've got kind of a path going. It's just not cut like mode. But if you come around this tree and kind of swoop the other direction, then you, you could stay out of the way most of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up this pathway a little bit just from the dead uh, branches that are kind of in our way that we don't need anymore.
Look at how beautiful that is. Wouldn't change it for anything. Well, I mean, I'm gonna change it so I can get through it. The difference is easy to see on camera, but it makes a huge difference with all these spiky trees that you're not rubbing yourself the whole time. So now you can walk out here in shorts, no problem. Which would be great, because it's hot. I'm seeing any of the feed out here, which is good. It was out here a little while ago. But I'm also not seeing any deer tracks. We've had rain for the last couple of days, so it's kind of hard to tell, I guess. But there's our other camera. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that guy. There we go. That's all we came out for. I will show you guys these a little bit here. So I'm hoping that this wasn't aimed too low, but these guys are the stealth cams. I got them two for a hundred bucks and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't leave that here. They have to come home with me. Uh, they take amazing photos, which you guys are about to see, but we've got it set up so that it's going straight down the pathway so that if anything kind of came walking through here at all, that way we'll be able to see it because we want to be able to catch predators as well, which won't be drawn in necessarily with that uh, sweet feed. But this is a main walking path, at, uh, game trail. So they've been maintaining it themselves. So hopefully we'll catch some good stuff. Let's go find out. That's too funny. I just scared a family of blue jays that thought that I put more feed down. <laughs> They're gonna have to wait till this afternoon. All right, so that did not go the way I wanted to do at all. Uh, neither of the cameras really had anything on them except for us setting them up. So I'm a little worried about what's going on. So might have to scratch that. I love these cameras that I said earlier. Um, I'm gonna replace the batteries and everything in them and see if that helps. Put down a little bit more deer feed. We'll come back in a couple of days and we'll see if we can find anything then. Can't forget my dragonfly buddy. This is crazy. I don't think that these guys are totally dead, so I'm going to keep them for now and test them. Um, but we are going to replace them just to make sure. I'm going to stick the, uh, bat or the SD card back inside and then we'll strap it back up to the tree. I'll probably mess around with it a little bit just to see if I can see what's going on. And we'll set out some of the feed and keep going. Photo delay is on. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see if we can set it off again. Delay, perfect. So it's definitely taking photos. So that's that's good. Hey, I probably have a million photos of myself uh, just setting up the camera. So that'll be fun to look at in like a couple of days. But we'll see. I can already hear the crow starting to come in. You can even hear me over this wind. <laughs> But I can already hear the crows coming in and I'm gonna put down some feed. We'll set up the other one and see if there's anybody sitting here when we come back, I guess. Am I ever glad that I cut this path earlier today? This would be kind of a pain in the butt on my own without, you know, me helping myself out, I suppose. But I could have worn my shorts, my flip-flops. If it wasn't so muddy. I cannot believe the amount of rain that we're having. I guess it's going around us like this whole time. Can you guys hear the crows? <laughs> Uh, but there's a lot of people I was putting up, uh, we lost power for a little while, which means like nothing for us, right? But it was kind of fun, you know, we set up a couple of candles, hung out, I edited one of our vlogs for the day. Oh, there goes a squirrel. So I guess we're going to get some squirrels on this camera. They see me coming, they hear me whistling and I can hear the birds and everything start getting excited. Hopefully the deer hear me too though. And they know what it means when they hear, oh, there go the blue jays. Man, these blue jays love it. I love having the blue jays around though. These are awesome. Let's see if I can catch them for you. There goes a dove. Everybody's waiting, they heard me coming. 
This is usually why I put down a little bit extra feed though. So the birds don't take it all from the deer. You guys can save a little, that'd be nice. Be better on my wallet. All right, so we got camera number two in front of me here, right there. And that has a view all the way down there. It shouldn't be too low. I'm just gonna double check here if we get the same response for um, the, uh, the photo was being taken. Hold on. We'll flip on the side here, swing this open. And I had it turned off because I wasn't here. So that says it's on. It isn't showing me the amount of battery it's got. Oh, I saw a little bit there. I don't know if it's gonna give us on. No card, obviously, because there's no card in it. So to do an actual test, I should probably put a card in it. So apparently you can put these things in upside down. So be careful if you're gonna do that. Because that's not helpful. And where did I put my micro SD? This is quite the adventure. And this one, I have no idea what's going on. So we're gonna have to see how it goes. Um, if we don't have anything happen in the next couple of days, then we'll know we'll have a bigger problem and I'll have to go and get mad about my cheap cameras. Don't think that'll actually happen. Aaron's up, move around in the forest. There you go. Anticipation is real. So I'm gonna get this guy strapped up and we're going to throw our food down and we'll head out back to the house. We'll see you guys there. All right, so we just went for another test here and it's not actually changing anything. So I think that the batteries might actually be dead or something's going on here that's a little bit funky. So we're gonna go ahead and change the batteries out just in case, see what happens. Not optimal to do this while they're attached to the tree because yeah. Okay, so apparently there's 10 photos on here. We've got our delay on here now. That's good. I'm gonna close this up, spread our feed and we'll check it. I really shouldn't be touching the camera now because the feed hit my hand a little bit when I was throwing it down. So what happens is that if you touch your feed and then touch your camera, I've been told, the animals can smell it. So they come over here and they get all up in your camera and some, I guess somebody lost an entire camera or I'm sure a bunch of people have because bears and stuff like that will come along, smell the feed on here and they'll take the camera out. Okay, so I see, I'm still not getting anything here. So if anybody knows what's going on with this camera, there's clearly something going on where it's just not, it's not reading it for longer than five seconds. So I guess this one's gonna be a dead. I'm still gonna leave it out here just in case it's just not telling me that it's reading it. And we're gonna go from there. So I reset it and it said that it had 13 photos versus the 10 photos that it just had. So. I'm guessing that it is actually taking photos and not just showing me on the actual display. It's a little annoying because it's supposed to, but I guess it probably saves battery if you're not out here. So we're gonna head back and leave those guys out here for a couple of days and hopefully they work. Cause I really, really do love seeing what's going on in our property. And if I don't actually get to see it, then I'm like missing my favorite show. Just like the True North is your favorite show, right? Don't miss it every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Good. Hit that like if you like what you're seeing. But I like get to see the drama. So like when we're leaving our house and like going around and doing our own thing and stuff like that. And there's like deer and like they're hanging out and coming in. It's like really awesome to see that too for our property because if they stay around, it means we're doing a good job of managing it for them. If they're not staying around, it means they found somewhere better. And I wanna be the best property around here. So we gotta work on that. But hopefully this will help bring them in deer and all these animals also do cover a large area and there are not any like real fences around here. So they can really go anywhere that they want, which is perfect because it means that they can still come here. Just means it might take them a while to get here. I'm hoping that a few of them will remember that they got food here last year. And we saw the mom and the couple of does in the springtime when I still had the cameras out before I stopped feeding when the bears woke up. Um, so hopefully, they remember that they got that here and we did give them a salt block too, but they were absolutely terrified of it last year. So hopefully we'll be able to give them um, a little bit more encouragement to use it this spring or this uh, fall so that we get those nice big antlers on our bucks that are coming by. But I guess we'll have to wait and find out. So you guys will have to stay tuned, I suppose. We'll see you later.